Cross it! Hey everybody, Dr. O here. I want to introduce the reproductive system, but I want to do it in a more fun or interesting way. I want to start by looking at the odds that you exist as you. So this is this is a little picture of Oliver. You'll see him a few times. This is probably one of the first pictures we have of him at home anyways. And uh, so what are the odds that Oliver is Oliver and not somebody else, right? What are the odds that I'm here instead of somebody else and my wife, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to share some information from an article I found on Business Insider. I don't, I don't often share information from other sources here in my videos, but just uh, I want you to see where the numbers come from. So what are the odds that you exist as you today? And we'll look, we'll look at those odds and then we can talk about what makes it even less likely that you're here. So we start pretty small here. It says there's a one in 20,000 chance that any, any man and woman are going to actually meet each other. And then there's a one in 2,000 chance that they will, they will get together and stay together long enough to have a child. So we've, now we've got one in 20,000 chance and a one in 2,000 chance. But here's where we start to see huge numbers. When you, when you at, at multiply those, you see that there's a one in 40 million chance that any man and woman will have a child together. So it's already a massive number. But the next one's my favorite. So you take that man and that woman and these numbers might be a little high. They're obviously trying, they're on the high end because they're trying to get huge numbers. But as you can see here that um, a typical woman is going to have potentially 100,000 eggs. She'd never use all 100,000 of those. Uh, a man, it says here, would have um, 4 trillion sperm. That number might be much smaller, half, uh, half a trillion, but still huge numbers. So you take the fact that your mother had all these potential eggs and your father had all these potential eggs, way more, obviously. The fact, the odds that any single sperm and egg would meet are one in 400 quadrillions. That's one in a 400 with 15 zeros behind it. So there was a, there was a one in 20,000 chance your parents would meet and get together, a one in 2,000 chance they'd stay together long enough to reproduce, and then a one in 400 quadrillion chance that they that 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 sperm and that egg would meet to become you. So these numbers are just massive, but I just you know just remember there's lots of uh, potential human beings that don't exist, right? There's lots of combinations of sperm and egg that don't exist. You are here. You're you're one of the very very lucky few. So remember that. Remember that you're a miracle and do something. Do something with your life, right? Now, if you want to make these numbers even bigger, you can then factor in the fact that the right sperm and egg had to get together to make your mom and your dad, your grandmas and your grandpas, right? Just think about the, the odds that anyone exists. I think about my grandfather. He was a B-24 liberator pilot during World War II, and they were and um, the the missions that he flew over the over the Ploesti oil fields in Romania killed 1,900 of his airmen. So 1,900 men didn't come home to get to have children and grandchildren like my grandfather did. So the odds that his plane stayed in the sky while the one next to him blew up um, meant that he he came home. Right. So think about all throughout our history, how many opportunities did your ancestors have to die before they could reproduce? So the, so the odds that you're you are actually much much smaller than this number here. So just keep that in account. So we'll actually, with the next video, we'll actually dive into the male and female reproductive system. Well, this is a very fun, interesting way to look at this, and you should really ponder this fact. So go ahead and do something with your life. Uh, that's why you're here getting an education, right? Okay, so I hope this helps a little bit. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.